Let's define total testosterone is all the testosterone floating around. Free testosterone is about one to three percent. And then you've got albumin and you've also got your sex binding globulin. So could you break that down a little bit? Sure. And tell people yeah. what to look for and what it means. So basically, as you've described, uh, testosterone is floating around your bloodstream. And when you get your blood checked, you know, you're measuring testosterone level that's floating around in the bloodstream. But what's important to understand is how testosterone works, how it actually does its job is it has to get into a cell, any kind of cell, like a muscle cell, for example, if it's just floating in the bloodstream, it doesn't do anything. So it has to get into a, a cell. It then binds to a special receptor called an androgen receptor, which then takes it to the nucleus, to the headquarters, the brains of the cell. And that's where all the magic happens, where DNA transcription, RNA becomes a protein and that's where enzymes are produced. And so you need testosterone to get into any cell to have any physiologic effect. Well, most testosterone, like you mentioned, sex hormone binding globulin, which is SHBG, you'll see on a lab slip, or albumin to a lesser extent, mm -hmm. will bind to testosterone. These proteins will bind to it, and, mm -hmm. and most of the time it's irreversibly bound. Now you have this big fluffy molecule that can no longer get into the cell. The molecular size is too large now. It cannot get into the cell, so therefore it's rendered basically useless. It's inactive. It cannot provide any biological benefit. Mm -hmm.